Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about why air brakes won't fail. In the last decade, we have equipped vehicles that carry our most precious cargo with air brakes. And if air brakes failed, they wouldn't be on those vehicles. In the last two decades, improvements in technology and the increased numbers of fail safes on air brakes have more or less made them bulletproof. The only failing of an air brake system in this day and age is brake fade. And drivers have to work pretty hard to experience brake fade on an air brake equipped vehicle. Stick around to the end of the video. We'll tell you which vehicles carry our most precious cargo. Hi there, smart drivers. Welcome back. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about why air brakes won't fail. As part of the requirement in both the United States and in Canada and other parts of the world, drivers have to take an air brake course. In those air brake courses that were developed in the 1970s, many of the drivers still believe that air brakes are dangerous and air brakes could potentially fail at any given time. Unfortunately, that is no longer true. With advances in technology, modern air brake systems are more or less bulletproof. And I would argue that the time has come for a revamp of all of these air brake courses because drivers do not need to know the technical inner workings of an air brake system. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna go over why air brakes in this day and age are unlikely to fail. The first failsafe of the air brake system that will prevent it from failing are the air tanks themselves. The air tanks on these systems are capable of holding enough air for 6 to 12 full brake applications. So if the entire system shuts down, there's still enough volume of air in those air tanks to make 6 to 12 full brake applications. And to stop a fully loaded commercial vehicle equipped with air brakes, you don't need a full brake application. So there's plenty of air in those tanks. If the compressor falls off the side of the motor or the whole system shuts down, there's still enough air to bring that vehicle to a stop. The one-way check valves at the entrance to the primary and secondary systems are the next failsafe on the system. These prevent air from bleeding out of the system in the event there, there is a system failure or a break in the line between the compressor and the air tanks. So the air can only move one way through the system. So it's unlikely if the compressor stops working or the main discharge line is broken, that air is gonna bleed out of the system because of those one-way check valves, which prevent the air from coming back through the system. It only goes forward in the system. The one-way check valves lead us into the next system, and this system is found not only on air brake systems, but on your personal vehicle as well. All braking systems are divided into two independent subsystems. If one system fails, the other will continue to work normally, so long as the air compressor continues to pump air, which it was rare that the air compressor will fail. Even on a hydraulic system on your passenger vehicle, if you open the cover off of the master cylinder, you will see two chambers in there. Since the late 1960s, all hydraulic braking systems have been divided into two independent subsystems, one for the front and one for the rear. A air brake system is the same. It is divided into two uh, independent subsystems, the secondary and the primary. The secondary runs the steer axles and the primary runs everything be behind the driver. And that is the most prominent failsafe system of an air brake system, but there are more. The air compressor is another failsafe on the system. These air compressors pump more air than could possibly be required. And we see that on modern air brake systems because the air compressor pumps enough air to run all of the air accessories on the vehicle, whether it's a bus or a truck. And one of the most demanding uh, systems that uses air pressure is the air ride suspension because unlike a passenger vehicle that has airbags in it there's just a balloon that you pump up and it just squishes down like as if you were gonna squish a balloon on a tractor trailer or a bus there is air constantly being evacuated out of the airbag system when it goes over a bump it actually uh, releases some of the air and then it fills back up the compressor is constantly pumping air to fill that air ride suspension as well as other accessories on the vehicle air ride seats in the rare case of windshield wipers gear selectors and those types of things the air pressure is used for a lot of other accessories so the air compressor is another fail safe on the air brake system because it can supply enough air to not only run the air brakes but all of the accessories on the vehicle the next fail safe saying that about uh air 
accessories on the vehicle there is a pressure protection valve on the system so what happens is if the system pressure starts to drop between 60 and 90 pounds the pressure protection valve will shut off air to the accessories and direct air just into the air brakes so that's another fail safe is the pressure protection valve which redirects air from the accessories into the air brakes if there's a loss of air pressure between 60 and 90 pounds and it varies a little bit depending on what vehicle you're operating. One of the most prominent fail safes on a modern air brake system is the low air warning device and in this day and age they're all a light and a buzzer so they're audible and they're visual you can see it and hear it and the low air warning is pretty annoying it's that you know most annoying sound in the world. <laughs> <laughs> that sound we all know that sound man that's annoying low air warning comes on at 60 pounds and the reason it comes on at 60 pounds because at 60 pounds there isn't enough air pressure in the system to hold the gigantic springs off in the cage position which activate the parking brakes and also work as the emergency brakes so at 60 pounds the low air warning comes on and in keeping with the low air warning, all of the air pressure on an air brake equipped vehicle is plumbed through the dash and even over the sound of all of the road noise and the diesel engine and people talking, if you're driving a bus, driving a truck, you can hear air leaks on that system. So even a minor air leak is prominent and you will be able to hear it. So that's another fail safe is that the driver is actually paying attention to the vehicle and listening to what's going on and hearing air leaks in the system. The most prominent failsafe on the air brake system next to the dual air brake system, the division of the system into two independent subsystems, are the spring brakes. Most of the time the spring brakes are used for parking, but in the event of an emergency and there is a loss of air, the spring brakes are going to activate because while the, the vehicle is going up and down the road, those giant springs are held in the released position by air pressure. And unlike the movie Terminator, which you can see here in the clip, when he rips the air tank off the bottom of the bus and they lose the brakes, that will never happen on a real air brake system. What happens is, is that you lose all the air pressure in the system, the springs expand and engage the brakes. So most of the time those spring brakes are used for parking. But in the event of a catastrophic air loss in the system, the spring brakes will engage and the vehicle will come to a screeching halt. <laughs> and oftentimes that happens between 20 and 45 pounds per square inch. So if you're the driver and that low air warning comes on and you're not paying attention, <laughs> and usually what I say to drivers is, is that you have to be sleeping stoned and really drunk not to hear that air loss or hear the low air warning and not know that it's going down between 20 and 45 because if you don't pay attention to that, you are gonna be doing a bug impression on the inside of the windshield because that vehicle is gonna to come to a screeching halt. The next fail safe on a truck designed to pull uh, trailers with air brakes is the tractor protection system. The tractor protection system, as it's called, this is one of those that the engineers actually got right. Tractor protection system protects the tractor's air supply in the event that the trailer falls off the back of the truck. Just quickly, the tractor protection system consists of two valves, the trailer air supply valve on the dash and the tractor protection valve, which is called the same thing as the tractor protection system, just to confuse drivers when we're teaching it to them. Anyway, the tractor protection valve on the back is kind of like the guard. It monitors air pressure into the trailer. If it detects catastrophic air loss in the trailer, it'll tell the trailer air supply valve on the dash to shut off air to the trailer to protect the air supply in the truck. It's another fail safe on 18 wheelers and trucks designed to pull trailers equipped with air brakes. <laughs> Drum roll. The last failing of an air brake system was manual slack adjusters. Manual slack adjusters had to be adjusted by the driver to keep air brake systems in adjustment and working properly. And up until the mid 1990s and early 2000s, 75 to 80% of trucks during the annual blitz on the part of the CVSE, the MTO, and the DOT in the United States found that trucks were put out of service because brakes were out of adjustment. In the early 2000s, Ontario did a study to look at vehicles going over the scales and, and looked at how many of those vehicles were equipped with automatic slack adjusters. So six years after it became law that automatic slack adjusters had to be fitted on new trucks and trailers and buses, they found that 96% of vehicles had automatic slack adjusters. So here almost 
uh, two decades plus years later, most vehicles have automatic slack adjusters. And actually, if they go into a shop for their annual inspection and are found to have manual slack adjusters, they have to be swapped out for that vehicle to pass its annual inspection. So automatic slack adjusters are on most vehicles in this day and age, actually all vehicles in this day and age, they won't pass their annual inspection. Automatic slack adjusters are reliable and work well to keep the brakes in adjustment. And as I said, manual slack adjusters were the last failing of the air brake system. And essentially automatic slack adjusters are just a ratchet mechanism that when the brakes are applied, it clicks over to the next ratchet position it's kind of like a boat ratchet click 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 and when the brakes wear and there's a certain amount of slack and the push rod comes out of the brake chamber a certain distance it will ratchet over to the next position and keep the brakes in adjustment and these are effective quite effective actually they've made uh, air brakes almost more or less bulletproof it was the last hole in the air brake system that has now been corrected and finally, the proof in the pudding of why air brakes are more or less bulletproof in this day and age. In the last five to 10 years, school buses that carry our most precious cargo have all been fitted with air brakes. And air brakes are more or less bulletproof because they are on school buses. Question for my smart drivers. Have you taken an air brake course in the last decade and were you taught to believe that air brakes would fail and were not reliable? Leave a comment down in the comment section there. All of that helps us out. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. Thanks very much for watching. If you like what you see here, share, subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section. As well, hit that thumbs up button. Check out all the videos over here on the channel. As well, head over to my website. Great online courses that you can purchase practice driving test questions, and for new drivers, they're free. Thanks again for watching. Good luck on your road test. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now.